Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. All right, today's topic is polyamory and polygamy. What's the difference? All right, before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new viewers, all of the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, those of you who are new to this channel, I will answer your relationship questions. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can send in your questions. And I would either answer them privately through the email or I will share them online with the collective. And it can be your decision. Now, for those of you who are not aware, uh, my previous email was hacked and deleted. So I do have a new email and uh, it is up and running. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the link. All right. Now, those of you who are interested in these caps, they are available in my online store and you'll find a link in the description. Now it's time for today's affirmation. And here it is. I am achieving my goals and becoming successful. Now we do these affirmations every day. It helps you with your spiritual growth and it helps to reprogram the way that you think about yourself. I am achieving my goals and becoming successful. Let this sink in. Let it sink in deep. I am achieving my goals and becoming successful. Let this affirmation be a blessing to you today. All right. Now it's time for movement. And we do the movements as part of our everyday exercise to get our blood circulating. Okay, and it makes us feel good throughout the day. All right, today we're going to do some neck exercises. Okay, what we're going to do is just like this, and that's going to be one. And then we're going to do the other side. Okay, all right, we're going to do five of each. All right, the first movement is this, and that's one. All right, okay, here we go five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Loosen it up. All right. Now we're going to go the other way. Five times. All right. Here we are. One, two. Three, four, five. All right, how did that feel? How did that feel? Just loosen up those neck muscles. If you're like me at the computer all day, you need to loosen it up right in here. All right, now let's dive into the message today. Polyamory and polygamy. What's the difference? All right, I did pull video. Let's watch the video. Then we're going to read a letter. We're going to talk about this issue. All right, here we go. You need to bring more women for your husband. Men need more than one woman, and men crave more than one woman. Ma'am, blink twice if you need help. And I can assure you, as a married man, I do not need multiple women. The last thing I need is more than one woman walking around this house telling me she's hungry, but for the love of God can't tell me where she wants to go eat. I got my hands full already. In all seriousness, though, Women do not listen to her. More than one meta-analysis has found that women involved in polygamous marriages have worsened mental health. And children with polygamous parents had a significantly higher global severity index. Unlike other great apes, humans are a pair bonding species. We're designed to be monogamous. Polygamy is something that resulted from a fallen state and not what the creator originally intended. Women, you are not objects for men to collect and use. Do not fall for this lie that you would flourish in a polygamous marriage. 
what comes with polygamy from what you've seen? The responsibility that comes with polygamy, right, is being the caretaker of two, three households, having to manage three women's, multiple women's Finance. finances, fully, lifestyle, yep. children. That's a lot of responsibility that I don't think when men talk about polygamy today or, or, or any type of poly, they're just thinking about their sexual pleasure. And I don't think that people really understand the whole concept. Like it's deeper than that. You got to be well off to even subscribe to that lifestyle for it to make sense for you at least. You got to be well it's off. It's a rich man sport. Yeah. A powerful okay. man sport for sure. I have to warn you. You're going to hurt your psyche, your spirit, and your heart if you get involved in poly relationships. These guys will act like the, the relationships are going to be ending or they're going to be separated and um, or they're going to be um, roommates only. Do not get involved with these guys that are toting that their marriages are bad and and um, making you feel sorry for them. It's a complete. It's basically messed up because they ruined it. Do yourself a favor. Don't make the same mistake I did. Do not get involved whatsoever not into anything poly okay from the video we got some idea about the differences between polygamy and polyamory okay polygamy is when you have more than one wife it's polygamy polyamory is that you just like to it's open you just sleep around with a lot of people and i suppose that everybody knows each other <laughs> It's in an open marriage, but I, I'm not sure about the, you know. But um, anyway, let's let's dive into this letter and see what she says. This is a young lady that says, I've noticed that there are black men who are beginning to move in the direction of polygamy because they are following, I guess, some YouTuber who says married to two women and he's almost like the guide post so to speak as to how men especially black men should proceed with relationships and how it seems his real wife seems to agree with him and taking on another wife yeah because they all have the same mindset this is something that they have agreed upon is like a contract. You know, these they have uh, agreed on this contract to live this way together. Not saying that it's right, but they have free will. And this is what they have decided to do. All right. Now, you do go on and mention in the letter that um, that people are watching this, this YouTube guy about a polygamy. And uh, not that we care what they believe, but I just want to know your thoughts are on polygamy. Okay, here it is. For number one, I'm about monogamy, period. <laughs> period. All right, and I let a date know I'm about monogamy. And if they can't adhere to that, then let they can just pass by, pass by. You understand you know, no loss to me because, number one, I never put myself in a position feeling like I absolutely need a man. Okay, I, I'm not in that position. I don't even feel like that. I don't even think like that, that I can't have a happy life without a man. Now, before I became spiritual, I, I, I must admit that I did think like that, that Having a man would complete me. Before I was spiritual, this was my mindset. And it's probably why I dated so much trying to find that Prince Charming that would complete me. I spent way too many years of my wasted years looking for that. But when I became spiritual, I realized that I was whole in myself. I really didn't need anybody else to make me feel whole. And it's a difference in that. And it stopped my 
searching for the other half of me when I was already whole. I, I didn't need another half. I was already whole within myself. Okay, so that cut out a lot of uh, nonsense. Now, polygamy, it, you know, it's, it's been practiced and it still is being practiced. All right, and apparently it's coming back into trend. We'll say that. But what uh, young men should know about this, when you are in a polygamous relationship, it's the man's responsibility to financially support these households totally, fully. For instance, if the first wife has a house, then the second wife will have the same thing that the first wife has, a house. Not these shabby um, relationships <laughs> where they all living together in an apartment. That's, <laughs> that's ridiculous, ladies. You don't value yourself if you're doing something like that. And even in a polyamorous relationship, you're not valuing yourself when you're just sharing yourself. You know, he is... <laughs> you are allowing a man to treat you like cattle. <laughs> like cattle. You see? He goes with this one. Then he goes with this one, goes with this one, and everybody. And then the women are together like you all are just friends and all loving this man. None of you have any self-esteem. None of you have any value. You do not value yourself. You don't have self-worth when you're doing something like that. Okay. Anyway, you look at it. Now, this is, you want my opinion? This is my opinion. And I am giving you a, my opinion through a spiritual perspective. Now, if you don't want to be spiritual and you want to be low vibrational, well then, hey, it's your free will. It's your choice. And you will get everything that comes along with that choice. All right. But if you want to be spiritual, on your spiritual path, you would not engage in this type of activity. And if anybody comes to you and saying that they are spiritual and they're doing this type of low vibrational activity, it's not real. Maybe they're on a different spiritual path. Okay. I did hear uh, a young lady say that some people split their spiritual journey and their sexual journey. So what are you saying? That... On your sexual journey, you're going to be low vibrational. But on your spiritual journey, you're going to be high vibrational. Do you see how ridiculous that is? You have to choose one. You can't choose one. You can't, you can't have one foot in and one foot out. It doesn't work like that, people. Polyamory. Polyamory is low vibration. It's low vibration. Polygamy. I'm not, I'm not going to say polygamy has been around forever. And I, you know, it's a lifestyle choice. But if you ladies, this is a hint for you. If you decide and agree to go into a polygamous relationship, make sure that it makes your life better. And plus... Not, not just sexually. Forget that part. I mean, you're living. If he cannot put you in your own home and finance you in that home and finance any children that you have, if he doesn't have enough money to treat you like that, then you don't need to be in a polygamous relationship. You're just fooling yourself. He's just cheating. He's just cheating with other women. If the man is not supporting you totally financially, and I believe, you know, some men, what they'll do is get one big house 
and have all these women living in one big house, I would never agree to a polygamous relationship like that. That's ridiculous. The man is, <laughs> he's just using everybody. Using everybody. Okay. I did hear a, a, a man say that, uh, and I don't know if it was in one of the videos, say that polygamy is a wealthy man's sport. Okay? Because he's probably the only one who can afford it. You know? Have a wife over here in her home and her family. You know, they're well taken care of. And if he can afford to do that again, free will. And again, free will. But no, not scooping up everybody in one house. The women working like slaves. Having all these babies. And he just sitting and relaxing. And in some of those homes, the women are working. And in a polygamous relationship. Doesn't make sense. You're just being used and abused if you let that happen to you. Understand? Listen, I know in some cultures this has been going on forever. But just because something has been going on forever doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Ladies, we have been the underdog forever. Ever since man. <laughs> Let's say this. Ever since. Um, I know ever since the Bible came out. That women have been the underdog. Now before then. I don't have the history on that. Okay. But ever since the Bible came out. Women have been the underdog. Alright. And men have been put on top. Man is the master. And you are the submissive. You are the submissive to the master. Okay. So now the master, he can choose as many women as he wants. Now in Christianity, it's condoned. In Christianity, it's condoned. Now, I don't know uh, where the monogamy came in. I don't know if it came in in the New Testament or whatever. But in the Old Testament, was condoned. And a lot of... Uh, Pastors out here who condone uh, polygamy, they're using the Bible to do it. They're showing people in the Bible, kings or whatever, that had different wives or whatever. But doing those were kings and they could afford it. They could afford it. And then it was a culture too. And now we're in a new day. We're, we're in a new day. We are ascending. And our knowledge about things is ascending. So we don't want to go back and do things that were done in olden days and thinking that was the answer. If it didn't work back then, it's not going to work now. Okay? People, this low vibrational sexual activity is coming out of the spirit of Baal. That B-A-A-L is the Jezebel spirit. It's, it's low vibrational. It's all about sex and captivating people in this sexual low vibrational energy. That's poly. <laughs> that's what it's all about. All this gender bending. That's what it's all about. People, it's not spiritual. It, it, it is not good for your spiritual growth. Okay? You can't hold on to those things and be spiritual. It's different. Now, there are some religions, religions that condone polygamy. That condone it. But it's low vibration. It's low vibration. You see? And in most of these religions that condone it, these men can't afford these wives. They cannot afford them the way that it was set up to be. Way back when the kings of the Bible had these wives, these wives had their own individuality and their families and the king could support them totally. The average man can't do that. 
He can't do it. You see? But he wants to go into polygamy. He wants to use that to take advantage of women. To take advantage of you. And because women, we're so desperate to have a man. Just so desperate to have one. That we're willing to share under any circumstances. Just to be included. Just so we are not alone. We are afraid to be alone. But when you're on your spiritual journey, you don't feel loneliness. You are alone many times. But you don't feel lonely. The topic today was polyamory, going out and sleeping with everybody, polygamy, marrying more than one person at the same time. What's the difference? All right. It's all about sex, the sexual energy. Why would a man take a second responsibility? Unless he just wanted to know that she's sitting right there to have sex with him when he's ready. All right? So he'll take a second wife. For him, it's about sex. If he can afford it, you understand? But he'd want to know that she's sitting there waiting for him to, to show up. She's not dating anybody else in polygamy. It's only the man that is going from flower to flower to flower, not the women. Okay? All right? So it's all about the man having his cake and eating it too. That's what it's all about, polygamy. And polyamory is just being sluttish, just, just sleeping with whoever, whenever. All right? That's all that is. People, know what you're getting into. But ladies, love yourself. If you truly love yourself, you will turn your back on any of this. You'll turn your back on it. You will not feel a draw just to have a man. And this is why these ladies are going into these situations. Because they want a man so bad. Love yourself. Care for yourself. Know yourself. Know who you really are. And know the power that you really have. You don't need to degrade yourself just to have a man. You see, a man's motivator is sex and food. That's it. Sex and and food. And he would do anything for either one. But ladies, that's not your motivator. That's not your motivator. Your motivator is love. You see? You want to have a man to love you. And to care for you. And to know that he is there for you. But because men are changing the way that they handle women in today's society, now women feel that they have to do a lot to be chosen by a man. You've given all your power to the man to choose you. Ladies, know your own power. Don't wait for anybody to choose you. No. Work on yourself. Build your own empire. Go for your own desires. Have your own goals. Not spending your life trying to find a man to fulfill your dreams. Work on yourself to fulfill your own dreams. Okay? I hope that the message today helps someone. And I really hope that you understand. Now, those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, here is the link. Send your questions to Miss Faye's World, YT, 
at Hotmail.com. That's Miss Faye's World, Y-T, at Hotmail.com. And try to keep your letters to one page. Just summarize your situation and ask the question. And if you prefer that I answer your question privately through the email, just put it at the very top of the letter and I will comply. Now to show my appreciation for you supporting this channel, I will be giving away a deck just like this one, the I Am Affirmations deck that I have been choosing from for our daily affirmations. I will be giving this away to one of you lucky subscribers once this channel hits 100,000. And every day we just get a little bit closer. This is a 53 Oracle card deck. And I will be announcing the winner right here on the channel. So keep watching and good luck to all of you. I want to thank you so much for your comments and your letters. And a special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.